realize that the show Inside Edition has been on for 20 years. And Deborah Norville, you've hosted, what, 14 years 14 now? years, yeah. Bad Good hair and all. Run. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, some hairstyles. We all have, to. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. So you're back to share some of the memorable moments. One of these moments was kind of, I would imagine it was a horrifying moment. Oh, Paula jail. Jones. Oh, Paula, Paula Jones. Jones. Yeah. Oh, we'll Remind? get to the jail, too. Remind everybody about who Paula Jones is. Well, Paula Jones was really the woman that got the whole Bill Clinton scandal period started. Paula Jones was a woman who had encountered then-Governor Clinton, and she contended that he had sexually harassed her. So she sued then-President Clinton, and mm -hmm. it was a big story. And this was the first time that Paula Jones sat down with anybody in the media to talk about the situation. And to prove a sexual harassment case, you have to show that you've been adversely impacted from your job. Yeah. And here's what happened when this I asked her. What happened. Happened. Why would Bill Clinton care about you? So you turned him down. I, you know, I don't appreciate that. That was really rude. No. That was so rude. That was so rude. You know, Paula. This, that was so rude. Why do you want to let the American people, why would he care about me? And the oh. woman in the, in the pink sweater the there? The woman in the sweater was her, her publicist. Did her you handler. knit that sweater? I did not knit that sweater, no. So I was too were, busy. You weren't trying to say to her, you know, why would it care about you, you hideous pig? You were no. saying, no, why would it? But she just could Because to prove your thing. thing, you have to show that he was, you know, that you were adversely impacted. And I'm like, well, why, why would it have mattered that you turned him down? But she took that question. Think about it. She'd been the late night joke yeah. for That's ages. True. Yeah. She had been the butt of so many ugly, unflattering stories. They talked about her appearance, and it all came rolling out, and I'm like, I may have had some questions that you would consider rude, but that was yeah. not one of them. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Mike, I was going to say, Paula. what happened to her? What, what happened? Oh, she stormed interview? out. She, she was did. furious, but, um, but she was still attached to the microphone, so <laughs> we reeled her back in, and, and she, she calmed down, and we sat down, and we fished. Oh, you the did? Oh, yeah, yeah. You we, fished her back in? Well, you know, these courts are long. It was before we had wireless, so we were just like, come on, Paula, come on back. I mean, you could get up and leave in any second now. I if could. If I see anything rude. But I'd you. come back for you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Guys and ladies, did you realize that Deborah Norville has, has been in jail? No. Don't run. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah. You criminal. I know. You spent a week as an inmate in what was called at the time the toughest jail in America. Yeah, and it was it was not a story I wanted to do. I tried to get out of it, and it was funny. It was when I realized, I think we all have that moment in our job, that, you know what, you're a working stiff like everybody else. Here they are taking my picture. They pat me down. They get right here, and they felt the underwires in my bra. And the lady says, oh, no, you don't. And I'm like, what do you mean you don't? You're not wearing that bra. I'm like, I'm not going into jail without a bra on. <laughs> and she, I, she said, the wires. Do you guys know that you're in the military? You know all about security. The wires in your bra, ladies, can be a weapon. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. This is serious stuff. And, and it was terrifying. So you really, they didn't, they didn't take sugarcoat it for you? No. You went in there and everything was the same? Everything was the same. And the deal that I thought I had was that there would be a guard <laughs> inside the jail with me. And when I walk in and I've got my bed under my thing, I've got my toilet paper they give you your own personal roll of toilet paper and I go walking in and they close that big giant door behind oh. me and the first thing I think is whoa these are the hardest scariest looking women <laughs> you've ever seen and then it's like gee whiz the stink in here is just gonna knock you over and the third thing I noticed and this is just before I go in yeah it was pink right. um, was the guard who's supposed to be in here with me is on the other side of those bars and I'm thinking hi I'm Deborah I'm here because my producers don't like me what are you in for <laughs> and I went to every single person the, I'm not kidding you the the lady who stole from McDonald's, I just said, you're going to be my roommate and the one who's accused of attempted murder, whose boyfriend's legs got burned off in the fire she allegedly set. I'm like, I'm going to yeah. keep a lot of distance from you. Did so anybody did get in your face? Oh, absolutely. Very... Absolutely. You get any fights? You throw down? No, I didn't throw down. Come I was... on, Dad. No, I didn't throw down. <laughs> Deborah's wife, like, tremendous career. Oh, Congratulations thank you on the so much. Thank you, Deborah. Sailors, Marines, don't get too excited now, but you are going home with a knitting book, all right? Give it to your moms, give it to your wives. Can I just, can I just yes. show the bracelet that I wear every day? I don't know if you can get on camera three a close-up of this, but this is the Marine Corps emblem. It's the collar pin from a Marine who was in the service when my dad was in the Air Force. I wear this every day in salute of your service. Right. Thank you, ladies. Yay. 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 By the way, check your, for you to be here. check your local listings to catch Deborah Monday through Friday on Inside Edition. You know where to find her. Thanks, Dad. All righty, coming up next, a once-in-a-lifetime show, live performances. Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, what? Steven Tyler, Neil Diamond.